And now, Working Man Radio with your host, Joe Lyles. What is a Harry Truman Democrat? Right? That's something that you hear. I've heard it a lot. By the way, you'll be interested in what a Harry Truman Democrat is. Uh, but I've heard a lot. Uh, one of the things that you hear, I, I've heard I've heard it on Rush Limbaugh's show. I've heard Rush Limbaugh talk about, well, you know, Democrats today aren't like they used to be. I've heard people talk about how the Democrat, we, I used to like being a Democrat. That was a famous thing that was a famous, uh, uh, famous line that lots of people repeated. It's one of those... Uh, one of those truisms that works its way through the culture, and, and lots of people say it. I didn't leave the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party left me. What are they talking about? What are they talking about? They're talking about the special interests. That's what they're talking about. They're talking about they're not because because what you will find this is something that that uh, this is something that my my brother and I discussed the other day, and uh, uh, the uh, the uh, the the realization that everybody in America across the political spectrum, you don't know it. Uh, the uh, the conservatives will tell you, uh, well, you know, conservatives continually badmouth it, but everybody in America believes in the New Deal. Even if you think you don't, let me just ask you: you want to? Should we just abolish Social Security? You want to just abolish it? Not very many working people want to do that. And I'm talking about working people who listen to Rush Limbaugh. There was a famous sign, a famous sign that people, somebody carried around, and they got quoted and lampooned, and they they were and they were horribly ridiculed as well they should be. Back in the when the Tea Party was hitting the streets, and we were there with our camera, there were signs that said things like. Keep your government hands off my Medicare. Uh, excuse me, but Medicare is a government program. It was signed into law by Lyndon Johnson. It was part of the Great Society. It was part of his war on poverty, Medicare was. And oh, oh, by the way, as part of the war on poverty, it worked. In 1959, poverty among the elderly, in 1959, poverty among the elderly was like 40%. 40% of people over the age of 65 lived in poverty. Today, it's 9%. Fewer, the, 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 the poverty rate for the general population is higher than it is for the elderly. The elderly have fewer poor people than the general population. That's how well things like Medicare and Social Security have worked to take and keep our, 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 our senior citizens out of poverty. It has worked very well, thank you very much, and nobody wants to get rid of it. Do you really? If you're a working man, and see, this is my message. If you're, if you're a Rush Limbaugh listener, in a working man, and you think that you you believe most, if not all, and everything that Rush Limbaugh tells you. Do you want do you want to take care of your parents, your elderly parents, yourself? You want to pull off, pull the pull the thousands of dollars off the hip and pay for that hip replacement that Mama needs, really? You want to? Do you want to? Do you want to make sure that Mama's got a place to live, or maybe you'd like her to move in with you? Nobody wants to get rid of Social Security, and they don't want to get rid of Medicare. And it's one of the things, one of the tricks that the conservatives who want to get rid of it, and they do. If you're a working person and you voted for Mitt Romney, he wants to get rid of Social Security. If he says he doesn't, he's a liar. 
they want to get rid of social security they've always wanted they hated it the day it was created in 1935 and they want to get rid of it now and it and 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 you don't but and but they always say we're going to preserve our keep our promises to to today's seniors they don't want to get rid of it for your mama they want to get rid of it for you so your kids can take care of you people talk about well we're gonna burden the future generations with all this debt you want to burden future generations you want to burden your children with having to personally take care of you Or do we like the Social Security and Medicare system that syndicates the cost of this? That's what that's the word. Syndicates the cost of this. And there's a lot. And by the way, there's a lot of costs that rich people incur that are syndicated across society. That's what our mixed economy does. That's what conservative talk radio people don't explain to you. But that's what you understand. Do you know what percentage of the population believes in, number one, believes in the minimum wage? And what percentage of the electorate believes that the minimum wage ought to go up? The president said we need to bring the minimum wage up to $10 an hour. You know what percentage of people believe that we should do that? It's, all, it's 60, 65, 70%. There was a ballot initiative in Florida, a ballot initiative in Florida to raise the minimum wage a dollar above the federal minimum wage. Florida votes Republican. That was the year we voted. Florida voted. I say Florida votes Republican. Our legislature is Republican. Our congressional de de uh, delegation is Republican. And in 2004, Florida voted to reelect George W. Bush. That was the year of the ballot initiative. They voted Republican. They voted to reelect the Republican president, and they voted to approve the increase in the minimum wage. Because increases in the minimum wage are popular. They never get through Congress. They never get through Congress. How come they never get through Congress? Because, because of the division of the electorate. Because working class white people are voting for the Republicans that will never approve. They will never approve an increase in the minimum wage. We're going to wrap it up when I come back. You've been listening to Working Man Radio with Joe Lyles at joelylesradio.com.